Hi everyone, I'm uh, going to show y'all a review on the Birch Box. Um, some of you may have heard of this, some of you may have not. It's a company that sells beauty products. Um, they don't sell as much as Sephora or Ulta or anything like that, but they do have some name brand stuff. And what you do is you sign up to pay $10 a month. And each month, I think it's on the 10th, they ship it to you. And I've been doing this for two months now. And um, I absolutely love it. Um, I didn't think I was. I was going to probably cancel after the first time. And what it is is that it they send you uh, four or five samples and then an extra little sample uh, every month. And so I've had October, and I ha just got my November one in the 15th. They shipped it on the 10th. And... Um, yeah, so let me show you what, since I haven't brought October box here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I've got in it. I'm missing one thing. I'm not sure what was in it. I can't place my finger on what it was, but I will go ahead and start for October. It came in a little box like this, and you open it. And I got a sample of the Purity uh, Made Simple... Philosophy One Step Facial Cleanser. And it's pretty good size bottle. I mean, that's a pretty good size bottle for a sample. And um, I haven't used it yet. Um, my skin's very sensitive, so I'm kind of adamant about using it. But I'm definitely going to and let you know how I like it and see if it works on acne prone skin. The second thing I got was a mineral foot cream. It's uh, for all skin types. It's by Ahava. Yeah. It's pretty that's still a pretty good size bottle too. Um I haven't used it. it. Smells like baby powder, which I'm not a big fan of. I kinda hate baby powder smelling things. But the let's see. This one doesn't really have a smell. It has a very tiny Maybe even just a little tiny bit of floral scent, but it's very faint. I can barely smell it. The next item I got was the Blink Mascara. And this stuff is really cool. Um, it's What the idea behind this is that it forms a tube on your eyelashes. And um, whenever you go to wash it off, it comes off in one thing. You don't have to sit there and scrub and try to get it off. It comes off in one thing. I love the formula. That being said, I hate the brush. The brush is this, like, wiry thing, and I like to dig it in there, and it, like, kind of, like, it scratches my eye, um, tie line, because I like to get it down there, and I pull up, and it scratches it really bad, so I'm not a fan of that, but, um, I did wear it for a week straight to see how I liked it, and I loved it, the formula. For me. When I took a shower, it came right off in one. It freaked me out the first time because I didn't read what it was supposed to do and what it was meant to do. And when I did that, I went like this. I, all of it came out. I thought my eyelashes came off with it, but no, didn't. It didn't. I noticed it conditioned my lashes as well. So um, I might repurchase it. I might not. I'm, I'm, I really love the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume 1. So. And the next thing I got was which I haven't used, and it's the Laundry Laundress New York Delicate Wash Lady Non-Toxic Biodegradable Algae Free. It's a little sample like this. You can all these samples you can buy on their website. Um, it's just like a one use. You use it with like your lingerie, bras, underwear, and stuff like that. And they say they have pretty good reviews on it too. Whenever I look on their site, but it was kind of expensive. I'm not gonna go and buy. I'll probably bring that with me in like travel. The next box that I got in November, I got a few days ago, which I was kind of excited about. Um, well, actually, at first I opened it and I was like, whatever, because the first thing I saw when I opened it were lotions, and I'm not a big lotion fan because my skin, like I said, is sensitive, and um, these just look like they had a big smell to them. But it's the Times Eucalyptus Body Lotion. Pretty good size, great for your purse, travel bag, and stuff. And it smells, it smells like herbs. It smells like it's called thyme, but it doesn't smell like thyme. It smells more like an oregano lemony smell. 
And then the Times Kimono, Kimono Rose Body Lotion. It's for, uh, it says femin Femininity Redefined. Wow, that was sad. <laughs> I just butchered that, but there's the back. It's just a little tiny sample. Um, next thing I got was the Joyer Lip Enhancing Hanser, uh, Conditioning Lip Treatment. It's cute. Um, usually lip enhancers like kind of burn my, like kind of sting a little bit. This one doesn't, and it has a pretty sheen on it. It's like a pink, light, very light. Let me see that. A pinkish color. Yeah. But that I got this some perfume. It's uh, I think it's Kate Spade actually. Yeah, Kate Spade by New York. Twirl. This is it. It's just a little bit. I threw away the little package it was in, but. I don't like it. It smells florally. And I'm not a big floral fan. I really like fruity smells and musky smells and vanilla. It smells like my grandma's perfume almost. I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan, but, you know, if you like floral, then you're going to love this product, um, I might put in somebody's stocking or something, but I don't like it. Okay, next I got, um, this Zoya in the color Noel, uh, nail polish, which I was really excited about, um, I haven't gotten... I didn't think I'd get like an actual bottom nail polish. I thought I'd be like, I don't know what I thought it was gonna be like, but it's a very, very thick consistency, so it should go on well and well, really nice. But I was really excited about this. I can't wait to put it on my toes because I've been sticking with the same colors, green on my nails and like a navy blue on my toes for the past month. So definitely be trying that out. That'll be my next color, Noel. And then, last but not least, would be, I showed this in my fall outfit of the day video. Um, it's, it's a hair tie. And what the purpose of it is, is, okay, you're supposed to wear it on your wrist at all times, so you can always have, you know, what girl doesn't put a hair tie on their wrist, and it, it always gives you that little, it puts an indention in your skin and sometimes cuts off the circulation to your hand. Well, this is supposed to be where it doesn't do that. It's supposed to be a key bracelet that you can just leave on your wrist at all times. Um, and to, when you want to pull your hair back, it you put it in your hair and then when you take it out later during the day, um, it shouldn't have like a kink in it. And I've slept in it once. My hair did kind of, it didn't hold it as much as normal. Like, because I had it in a big bun on top of my head and normally whenever, or like a folded over bun on top of my head. And normally when I do that, I have like humongous crazy waves when I wake up. That morning they were very more like calm laid back, like they were, I don't know if it was due to this or what, but I know the next morning after I straightened my hair, styled and everything, I was doing my face and I pulled my hair back with this and I didn't have like a kink in my hair or wave, whatever you want to call it, from my hair tie. So, um, it works for a little period of time, but, and it doesn't cut your circulation off, it's very loose. It is kind of cute. I thought it was black, but it looks more like a darkish, grayish green. I don't know, but, uh, I'm not sure what they call it. You can get it on birchbox.com, and, um, yeah, that's everything, but, um, I hope you liked it. I hope you try it out. It, um, is... It's not that expensive to get all these uh, samples and stuff, and I do want to say I bought this with my own money. I found it by myself. No company contacted me. Nobody's paying me for this. No one's paying me for this review. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you updated for my December uh, Birch Box, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And please leave a video response if you get Birch Boxes as well. And please comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.